forward. For more on this story, let's go to Strasbourg, home to the European Parliament. Say hello to Javi Lopez uh, with the uh, Catalan Socialist Party, member of the European Parliament, the Catalan Socialists, a sister party of uh, Pedro Sanchez's uh, Socialist Party. Your thoughts on the divisions on this opening day of the trial, these calls of putschists uh, thrown at the separatists as they were entering the court while they're the separatists who are rallying in Barcelona right now? Well, it's true. Uh, obviously, this is a trial, a really important trial in the history of uh, the Spanish democratic system. And obviously, the atmosphere, uh, it's hot in terms of uh, politics. But we have to be confident with the, our separation of powers, uh, with our justice system. And we will have a fair uh, and transparent um, procedure. And we have to wait the results and the outcome. Is this a matter to be settled in court or a matter that would have better been settled around the negotiating table? Obviously, like uh, politi political problems has to be uh, resolved in terms of political tables. But at the same time, all the citizens, but especially the institutions and the public servants, we are under the rule of law. And the problem is we arrive here. Obviously, we reject the situation, but we are here. Why? Because in 2017, the roadmap of the Catalan uh, uh, government, and we were underlining this problem when we were there, uh, was mm, jam the rule of law, jam uh, the rules of the parliament, jam the institutional framework of Catalonia and the constitutional framework of Spain. And we were underlining and trying to explain to our Catalan government, please don't do this. This will have legal, legal consequences. This will jeopardize our self-government. This will divide our um, society, as, as we saw. And we are facing the results and the consequences of, of, this, of this movement. Uh, now we are trying to respect this procedure, this trial that has to be fair and transparent with full of guarantees. And at the same time, the Spanish government is trying to open this political table of dialogue under the rule of law, obviously, but political dialogue to find political solutions in terms of building new consensus. And uh, we, as socialist Catalans, we are trying to be uh, uh, bridge builders uh, when it's difficult to be. Eh? Yeah, because the start of the trial, does it mean that uh, there's a fresh polarization and that the negotiations you describe become impossible? Well, it's true. It's a, it's a reality. Like the trial, it's a political problem, but at the same time, the politicians, we can't decide about the trials and about how the justice deal with these kind of problems. Uh, we have to respect the procedure, we have to guarantee the separation of powers, the fundamental uh, rights in terms of um, protection during all this process, and at the same time try to, try to do our job. This is find political dialogue, political so solution, respecting the rule of law, respecting our constitutional framework. And this is what the new Spanish government um, as you know, uh, after a, a motion of censure uh, six months ago, is trying to deal with this Catalan issue. And I have to underline uh, with a, a huge rejection of the right-wing parties uh, in the Spanish parliament, but at the same time with the rejection of dialogue for the pro-independence parties in Catalonia. And I will want to, to underline that the political problem, especially now, is under Catalans in a really divisive, uh, divisive uh, political landscape and society. And we should also try to have more dialogue in Catalonia and not only between the Catalan government and the rest of Spain. Uh, Javi Lopez, uh, three weeks uh, out of the month, uh, you sit at the European Parliament in Brussels, which has been the home this past year. Uh, of uh, the exiled uh, separatist uh, leader, uh, Carles Puigdemont. What would you say to him if you bump into him in the street? Well, I will say that uh, look the consequences of your uh, decisions. And obviously, like, um, the, the, how the politicians we should try to decide and take decisions is thinking the consequences. Look like uh, how is the political situation in Catalonia, our self-government, our institutions, how we are jeopardizing even our economy, and we are not close to a solution. 
uh, all the decisions made by the last Catalan government was a disaster, were a disaster. And this is like the reality in terms of consequences, in terms of facts and reality. We are trying to, to overcome this situation with dialogue, with political solutions, with respect of the rules, because obviously all the citizens, but especially the institutions and the governments are under uh, the rule of law and try to find solutions. And this is the only path possible, especially in our liberal democratic system in Europe. Rule of law and democratic system goes hand on hand. And we as, this is our path. Uh, I'm reading that uh, the uh, embassies of Spain throughout several European capitals have been uh, briefing the press, uh, handing out these uh, these these pamphlets or files entitled 12 falsehoods uh, about Spain. There is unease in Madrid over the fact that this trial is happening. Well, the reality is there is a lot of international cover, and I think it's uh, normal that the diplomatic body in Spain is trying to explain what is going on. We have 150 international media covering uh, this trial, and this is a reality. There is a real interest because it uh, has political consequences, um, and we have to explain how our separation of power works, how we have guarantees in all of these kind of uh, procedures, uh, how the European Commission, even in this week no, was underlining how um, Spanish courts are under the rule of law respecting the separation of powers and even trying to explain that um, we are under uh, in the European Court of Human Rights. Uh, this kind of procedures could go even to this body. Uh, we have guarantees, we have separation of powers. Explain that and explain that we are here not for pol political ideals. We are here because we had a government that decides explicitly to jump our rules, our common rules, with a lot of lawyers, public lawyers in the parliament trying to say, don't do that because this will have consequences. And now we are facing the consequences. and. Uh, all uh, the people is trying to look what is going on uh, about that and some politicians we are trying to find solutions. Because and just one a, final this question on this, uh, Javi Lopez. Uh, the, if the court throws the book at the defendants, it would be 7 to 17 years behind bars, what would happen? Like, this is not a decision made by the politicians. Like, we have to, uh, to, 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 to uh, respect uh, the guarantees that uh, all the courts, the Spanish courts, uh, has. And this is the, the, the reality. Uh, and um, today we saw some speeches uh, on the defense. We will see the next weeks uh, all the procedure, and it will be transparent, will be uh, uh, open, uh, all this uh, procedure. We will see the, the, the process. Javi Lopez, member of the European Parliament Socialist, uh, Catalan Socialist, thank you so much for joining us from Strasbourg.